So what is DAX? DAX is actually a data analysis exchange uh, functionality. So um, within Power BI, you have the ability to create uh, functions from the data that you have. The functions that uh, you can create are either a calculated column function, or you can create what is called what is, um, what is uh, commonly referred to um, as a calculated measure, which does uh, a lot of more powerful things within the Power BI structure. Um, you can always go to docs.microsoft.com forward slash en hyphen us forward slash dax forward slash index to see a full list of all of the dax functions that are available within the power bi now there are hundreds of different functions that are available and thousands of different ways of being able to utilize those functions we're only going to talk about the ones that i feel are the most necessary and the most useful for uh, using within uh, Power BI. The first one is filter. Now with filter, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull up my Power BI desktop that I have right now. And I put together a little uh, sample database here. Basically, um, it's just a list of dates as your first table. So it's just a list of dates going through and it breaks down the date parts for me, uh, year, quarter, month, day. Um, and different things like that. Then I have a sales uh, geography table that just basically has, you know, the different countries that I want to include within my sales information. And then I have a little small sales table that has um, some date IDs that are associated with the dates table, some country IDs that are associated with the geography table, and then different sales figures, uh, sales amounts that are in there. If we look at the uh, relationship model, it's basically a very simple model uh, hooking up the date IDs and the country IDs into the sales table itself. Okay, so the first uh, one that I like talking about is the filter. Now with the filter, what that will allow me to do is it allows me to filter out items that I want to filter out irregardless of um, what's going on with other filters that are going on within the record itself. Um, I have this tied up with this filter. Um, it's basically um, filtering out sales where the sales table sales item, and that is a, a sum of sales across uh, the different items there. So it's showing you that that's a, a measure. So the sales has to be greater than 100 in order for it to show up in the count for me. So it's counting the total number of items that have sales that are over 100. And if I click on my filter to filter things out, you'll see that that number changes accordingly based upon what I have uh, selected for the particular filter that I have. I can even filter on the dates and it will change things accordingly as well on the uh, visualization page that I have. <clears throat> the next item that we have uh, with the filter is the all function. Now the all function, what that does is that allows you to grab information even if it's filtered out. Okay, so what this is going to do for us is you'll notice that I have countries is not Mexico over here filtering the whole page down. You'll notice Mexico isn't even listed as a country. If I come over here, we have Mexico. Now it's saying Germany. I can change this filter. Let me just change it so that uh, it has all of them for us now. And we want to take maybe Mexico out of it. So Mexico is taken out of the filter. So it's in here, so we have a count of all of the orders, over 100 still, showing four, and a count of sales showing 10. But if I change things here, you'll notice that my count of sales over 100 goes down, but my total count of all sales stays the same. That's because the count feature here is utilizing the all DAX function, saying, hey, I wanna count all the rows and sales total for everything that's within uh, the data set. So there are 10 orders uh, throughout the entire data set. 
and irregardless of what I have filtered, whether it is filtering out a company uh, or a country within uh, the page filter that I have set up, or it's filtering it dynamically with the filters that I have set here, the count of all sales orders is still going to remain constant because it is grabbing all the information for the, for, uh, the data set that I have set up. <clears throat> if one of these has a link, and I'm just providing the link for you so you can see how it looks for the syntax for those links. Uh, basically, everything is doc.microsoft.com forward slash en dot, uh, hyphen us. Um, that's for English in the United States forward slash DAX forward slash all hyphen function a hyphen DAX. And if you notice the one before, it was filter hyphen function hyphen DAX. So it usually gives the name of what the function is hyphen filter hyphen DAX and you should be able to find the actual uh, link to it relatively quickly and easily. <clears throat> uh, with the all, you can include either an entire table as we did here where we included sales as the table or we can include a column name and it will uh, do the all according to that particular column as well. The next one that we have is related. Uh, related is kind of similar to the Excel lookup functions that are available. It allows you to grab related data from, um, from the particular data set that you have and you say, you know, related column and it will let you grab the information from that. Let me just pull up the desktop here and go to the next one here. So we have the count of sales in the US. So basically what this one is doing is it is using the related function. You'll notice it's using the all. So it's giving a count of all sales and then it's giving us a related uh, feature where it's only grabbing the stuff from the sales geography table and United States. So it's actually saying, hey, give me the ones that only match within the United States for all of the stuff within the sales table. And so it's grabbing me all the stuff within the United States to be able to uh, grab that. And if I change my uh, filter here for dates, you'll notice that that doesn't change either. So it's counting everything irregardless of the filters that I have turned on or off. So even if I turn the filter off here, so it's not selecting uh, the United States, um, it is still showing me all the orders for the United States. Next we have, um, it's kind of like a trifecta here. Um, the total year to date, total quarter to date, and quarter total month to date basically all have the same type of uh, syntax. So I kind of group these all together. These are very useful when you want to uh, summarize values and get totals based upon time periods rather quickly. And basically it's saying, hey, what do you want to set up for your expression? How do you want to set up your dates? And then if you want, you can add a filter. And if that is the year to date one, it also has the year to date uh, option in there where you can specify what your year to date end is. So if you have a fiscal period that is different than uh, 1231, you can put in that year of end of year date in the uh, total year to date uh, expression. On the dashboard here, we're gonna go to the next one here. And so we have total sales for this year. And that function looks like this, where it's saying, here's the total sum. We're taking the sum of the sales within the sales table. And then we are using the dates field within the dates uh, table as the option to get the total sales for this year. And so irregardless of whether I filter this down, it's still going to no, the filter actually works for this one. So it's going to do it based upon what we have selected for our particular filters. Because if you look at the function, where'd that go? Total sales this year, it doesn't have an all function within it. So if this would have had an all or something in there, it would have grabbed all of them that were available for it. Um, but this one is actually showing you that the filter is working 
um, for all the different uh, values. Now, if I go this way, it's not going to change until I actually get to the current year. And so once I get into the current year, then it will start adjusting down and back and forth accordingly to based upon uh, what's in there for that year. I think everything's all in uh, February and that's why it's being, yeah, it's doing, there you go. All right. Finally, the last one is calculate. Now what the calculate function does is it <clears throat> calculates out a, an expression and it also has a couple of filters that you can also put into it as well if you want to. Um, the expression is what you want to have it uh, calculate and typically that's either like a sum or an average or things like that. There are a couple of uh, exceptions for the calculate in order for it to work properly. Um, you cannot reference a measure within the uh, calculate uh, expression section of the formula. So um, you can only use field values in the expression section. So you can use other functions and other field values within that expression, but you can't use a uh, measure reference uh, within that. So just be aware of that, that the calculate will not work right if you try to use it against a measure in the expression itself. Also, the expression can't use anything that scans the whole table or returns a table. So it can't use like the all function or um, other type aggregate, aggregation type functions that are available within the DAX. <clears throat> Let me just pop over to the last one here. And so this is showing me the sum of all sales for all countries. Now this will allow me to uh, filter different things down. It should, based upon, let's see, where do we use it in here? Sum of all sales. Oh, okay. So what it's doing here is in the first one, it's doing the sum of the sales, but in the second one, it's grabbing everything within the geography. So the filter is actually forcing the filter to grab everything. If uh, you didn't have a filter in there, then it would be filtering based upon whatever you would put into visualization on the page. So in this particular instance, what we're doing is we're forcing it to give us all sales for all countries, irregardless of wherever the filter is. So it's not changing anywhere here. If I've turned things on or off, it's not allowing anything with the date stamp, date timestamps. No, nope, date timestamps actually works now. There we go. I thought the date timestamp would have worked. So the date filter is working. And if we turn on, let's just says not Germany. If we actually turn this so it's selected all, you'll notice that it is still the same as 888. Um, whereas uh, if you take Germany out of it, it's removing it out of the filters available but it's not changing much of the items. But if we take Mexico out, you'll notice that things change according to what's on the page if you have uh, not included the all. So this, these three functions have all built into them. And that's why the filter here on the page is not affecting those. And so it's grabbing all the information for everything across it. Uh, the date is actually filtering the date out. And since we didn't have a date filter on the expression here, so this one's only grabbing all sales geography, but we could have added another filter by doing a comma and adding all date uh, uh, dates uh, within the date table as well, and then the date filter would be locked out from the sum of all countries as well. So it all depends upon what you want to utilize these for, and there's tons of different ways of being able to set these up. And this was just a simple way of showing you relatively uh, quickly how these different DAX functions can uh, work together and how they actually function. <clears throat> 